So what we're going to do here is we're going to do something called frequency separation. So we're going to basically take this photo of this woman here with no makeup on and we're going to separate the more rough detail of the blemishes and stuff like that and then separate the finer detail like the pores and, and all the small wrinkles and stuff into a separate layer. So first of all what we could do is we could kind of clean up some of the uh, things that we can kind of like see right away. So if we take the spot healing brush tool over here and we zoom in, we can basically just extend the size of these. And by the way, holding alt, right clicking, dragging will give you the ability to change the diameter size of the brush that you're using. So if I'm just clicking, Photoshop will automatically like see these and fill it out with, with content that looks uh, very similar. So this is just to kind of clean up the rough stuff that's kind of directly visible. Sometimes you want to leave that in. It might be part of the personality of the person. But for this case, we'll just remove it so that I can also show you how to do that. But that's the spot healing brush tool, right? So what we need to do now is we need to separate this into two layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the background layer down here in my layers and I'll be prompted by creating the new layer, right? So layer zero. Just click OK. So we need to be able to separate this into another layer. So we need the underlying layer of the, the skin tones and stuff like that. And then we need a higher frequency layer for the for the pores and stuff. So we're going to duplicate this. You can either take the layer and drag it onto the new layer icon or you can hit Control J or Command J. This will give you a copy. Just for the uh, sake of visibility, I'll create yet another copy. I'll just use this for reference so that I can show you the difference afterwards. So I'll just turn this off for now. So I'll rename these. The top one, I'll rename it to high and the low one here or the lower layer, I'll rename that to low. So we'll work on the low layer first. So I'll turn off the high layer here and then I'll go into filters and I'm going to add a blur. So in this case, just a standard Gaussian blur. So what you need to look for here when you're making this first blur for the low layer is you just want to remove the detail in the skin. So depending on the resolution of the picture that you have. So this is kind of a high resolution image. So I'll go for around three pixels, right? So I have this faded out look to the, the skin. So kind of a soft surface. I'll just click OK. This will, of course, make the picture blurry. So now we need to select the high layer because now we want to edit that. And to do this is we're going to make um, Photoshop do some calculation work for us. So if we go to image and we're going to click the apply image. We'll get some options here. First of all, the layer that we want to merge onto will be the low layer. So we don't want it to multiply. We want it to subtract. So the values that we're going to go for here is a scale of two. So two or three is kind of the vicinity of like the blur so that uh, Photoshop can see the difference between the two layers. And the offset is 128, which is uh, going to be a middle gray. So for the next blending layer that we're going to use or blending mode that we're going to use, the middle gray will basically disappear and we'll be left with all the fine detail. So we're basically just creating a layer with all the fine detail. So these settings are OK. I'll just click OK. So as you can see, we have some detail here now in the uh, skin tones, but also, of course, the hair and the, the eyes that we have, of course, also have blurred. So now I'm going to select again the layer here. I'm going to click the uh, blending mode. So instead of normal, we're going to set this to linear light. So this is just out of frame here, but linear light. And as you can see, we're kind of just bringing back the detail in the skin. So now what we can do is we can select the low layer here. And now we're going to actually just select areas and try to fade them out so that we kind of give her fake makeup on or we clean up the skin basically. So I'm just going to select the standard lasso tool here and I'll just start with this part of the forehead here. So now this is selected. Remember to have a feather of about 20 or 40 or something pixels so that the uh, borders are very soft. You can always see your feathering by hitting Q after you've made a selection and then you can see how extreme your feathering is. So but for this I'll just stick with the 20 pixels and I'll go to filter. I'll go to blur again and Gaussian blur. And in this case, I'll kind of amp it up even further. So I'm going to go for about four point something. So 4.2 or something like that. And I'll click OK. Now it's basically just about like going in here and selecting the individual areas that you want to blur. And here you can use your shortcut because Filter will always display on top here the, the previously used filter, so the Gaussian blur. And I can re-access this one with the same settings as I just had by hitting Control or Alt Control F or Command Alt F on a Mac. And uh, this will just reapply this blur here, right? So this filter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cover the entire face here. In some cases, I'm going to double the blur. So I'm going to click multiple times to fade it out even further. So when you're satisfied with the uh, blurriness of the low layer, we're more or less done cleaning up the skin here. What you can do is, of course, you can also do like a, a bit of remodeling. So like tighten up the chin and 
maybe even make bigger eyes and stuff like that. Basically remodeling her face. So what we're gonna do here, uh, I'm just gonna select both the high and the low and I'll do a duplicate of those. I'm gonna right click them and I'm gonna choose merge layers. So this makes it into one layer, which is just called high copy in this case. By the way, here is the difference between the two layers. So you can see how much smoother the skin looks with this new effect applied. So now with the high copy here, what I can do is I can go to filter and can choose liquify. So here inside of liquify in the uh, menu bar over here, you can click the face tool, which will basically just analyze the picture looking for a face, which is has found here. And now you can basically just go in here and you can change the shapes of the face itself. So you can make bigger eyes, you can like tighten up the chin a bit, you can make uh, lips smaller or bigger, depending on like the look that you're going for, you can even rotate the eyes if you want if something needs a bit more symmetry or needs to be a bit off symmetry. And as you can see, it's just basically just pushing pixels around. So if you want to go for some of the more parameter based settings, Settings, you can go over here, of course, these are basically the same as all of these contact points out here. So it's up to you how you want to change these settings. But if I click OK, now we have the remodeled face here. And as you can see, there is a big difference between these two. So that's basically frequency separation and using liquify to change the face just a bit and create nice looking model shots. Thank you for watching everyone.